Okay, in this video, I'm gonna talk about uh, two types of BGB peering IBGB peering and EBGB peering. IBGB peering is uh, peering uh, between routers in the same AS. And EBGB peering is uh, peering between routers in different uh, ASs. Hope that makes sense. So here in this topology, um, we're gonna learn how we can configure uh, EBGP peering and IBGP peering. So let me explain the topology here. So, um, up on the top, uh, we have R1 and R2, and they are, uh, and they are neighbors, and they are uh, IBGP neighbors, or they have a an IBGP peering and they are in uh, AS3 and down here we have uh, R3 uh, it's in AS1 and it's uh, it has an IBGB uh, EBGB peering with R1 and we have R4 uh, let's assume that this router uh, is not able to run EBGP or BGP uh, this is to simulate uh, the uh, EBGP uh, multi-hub peering uh, between R2 and R5. So uh, let's take a look at R1. Uh, Let's take a look at R1 config, R1's configuration. So let me just. Uh, I actually already configured the interfaces uh, on all of the routers, so we don't have to worry about that. So I'm just going to show you the uh, BGP configurations. So here. Uh, you can see that it is uh, it's got a neighbor uh, in the same AS, AS3, and this AS3, this is the neighbor. And uh, the other neighbor is in different AS, uh, AS1. Uh, where we are looking at R1, right? So it's in AS3. So uh, let's take a look at uh, R2 is configuration, BGP configuration. Uh, let me just remove the screen. So I'm going to just show you the BGP configurations. So here uh, it's, of course, in ES3, uh, same as R1. Uh, It is, uh, this is R1's uh, uh, source IP address. It's using its loopback IP, loop IP address. And of course, remote AS3, uh, uh, internal uh, or in the same AS. And uh, it's got uh, another neighbor, this neighbor, which is uh, this uh, R5 uh, IP address here, or the IP address on uh, serial 0 slash 1 on R5. So that is uh, different here, so uh, meaning it's uh, 
it's got a like I explained earlier it's got a ABGP uh, neighborship with uh, R5 uh, particularly ABGP multi hop uh, neighborships so and of course um, you know they are not in the same um, AS I mean on the same subnet so here uh, the the uh, the source that R2 is using is 192.68.1.5.1 and later we're gonna let's uh, actually look at R5 BPDP configuration so we can compare so that's R5 so here so So now we can compare their configurations. So yeah, so they have both EBGP multi hop uh, two. Uh, this is just a this is a TTL. I got some notes here. Uh, time to live value to be configured in the IB in the IP packet header. So. Um, before I continue, let me just read the notes here that I, I got or that I got from a from the book. Uh, the book is Internet Routing Architectures, second edition by Sam uh, Alabi with Tani um, uh, person. So number one is it is important to remember that the BGP TCP uh, connection will not become established unless there is IBG, IGP connectivity between the two peers or the two peers are directly connected. We will use OSPF as an IB, IGP to establish the required underlying connectivity internally. So, so meaning that um, uh, we need to we need to make sure that before we actually uh, configure BGP, uh, we need we need to make sure that each router uh, can ping each other. So in this case, uh, for example, R1 in R2, R1 is uh, using its loopback. Uh, look back as its uh, source uh, address of the BGP session so uh, we need to make sure that uh, it can be uh, R2 or the IP address on uh, uh, pass Ethernet 0 slash 0 0 on R2 And so I already explained EBGP multi hop uh, two. So let's go back to R one. So here, this is what I was just uh, uh, saying that uh, R two, I mean R one, is using its update. I mean, it's using its loopback as the uh, source IP of the BGP session with the neighbor, in this case, R2. Or even, even, uh, even R3. So, R4 is just, uh, it's just running, it's not running uh, BGP 
like I mentioned, it's just uh, running. Let me show you this command here. So it's only running OSPF. Let me show you the uh, OSPF configuration. So there. Uh, let's go to R3. So I already verified that I can ping uh, the other wireless on R3. So I'm going to do a show run DDP. So it has a very uh, simple configuration. So router BGP, uh, meaning that uh, it's running uh, ES1, Tandem System 1, and its neighbor is uh, this IP, 172.16.20.2, and of course, uh, the remote AES is 3, so it is it has an IBGP uh, peering with R1. So let's let's actually I, I showed you the BGP configurations of of the routers. Let's uh, let's verify the uh, the let's verify the BGP uh, peerings now. So the uh, a good way to uh, to verify that BGP is established between routers is to do a show IP BGP summary. So in this case, uh, R2 has uh, a has a BGP. Uh, neighborship with R1 and also R5 here. So we can actually verify. We don't see it here on this in this output, but uh, let's do a show IP BGP neighbors. Let me expand the window. So here, uh, I did a show IP BGP neighbors, so we can see the details. Uh, uh, we can see more details by doing this command. So neighbor BGP neighbor is 172.16.2.254 remote AS3, so meaning this is an IBGP uh, peering or internal link. And it is established here. Uh, if you don't see, uh, let's say active or idle and other states, if you see zero uh, or numbers here, uh, it means that your BGP is established. Neighbor, uh, your BGP uh, neighborships are established. So let's take a look at the other neighbor, which is this. Uh, BGP neighbor is 192.68.12.1. Remote AES is 2, so it is a an ABGP uh, neighbor, or it has a uh, an IBGP, I mean EBGP peering with R5. And it says here external link. Uh, let me show you the here. External BGP neighbor may be up to two hops away. So meaning that they are not directly connected. Uh, so and they are not uh, on the same subnets like I mentioned earlier. Let's jump to R1 show IP BGP summary. So it's got two neighbors. 
R2 and R3. Show, let's do a show IP DDP list. So this is uh, B, oh, so here, BGP neighbor is 172.16.1.2, remote AS3, so in the same AS, meaning IBGP uh, uh, peering between R2. And by the way, the whole time and the whole time, the default whole time, whole, whole time is 180. Keep alive internal is uh, 60 seconds. I believe they are the default uh, values. And it's got another. It's got another neighbor here. So BGP neighbor is uh, 172.16.20.1 remote AS one so it has an ABGP peering with R3 so here we don't see we don't see uh, this we don't see that uh, output that we saw here on, on R2 where is it here so let me just show you here this so we don't see external BGP neighbor maybe up to two hops away uh, on R1 uh, because they are directly uh, connected and by the way uh, I believe uh, ABGP peering has a default TTL of 1 so and uh, I've got some notes here. So here, remember that, number three, remember that EBGP multi-hop is applicable with only EBGP, not IBGP. Because IB, like I said, EBGP has a default uh, TTL value of uh, one. You don't need it with IBGP. Also, the value at the end, um, 2 in this example, represents the TTL. I already talked about this uh, to be configured in the IP packet header. So, yeah, that's all I can talk about uh, building peering sessions. Thanks for watching.